I'm going to need a pen and paper, too. We're live now. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. I'm Psychic Medium Dennis Pierce. I'm going to do a live YouTube session tonight where I'm doing free reading. When I hear it through spirit, I'm... Hi, Isabella. You found me. All right. How are you tonight, Isabella? <clears throat> Get off to a little late start tonight. But here we are. You got notified and followed that. Awesome. Really cool. I made it easier, right? <clears throat> so you're going to start doing lives yourself. That's really cool. Very good. Very good. So let's see how this works out tonight. How many tonight? How many people are due to? Good. Very cool. Reconnecting. Reconnecting. We're losing the signal here. Not that strong. It's back again, but it, it keeps on saying reconnecting. Same zero people. Oh, Isabella, that's it. So far. Oh, that's her. Sarah C. Okay. She Hello, left, Sarah. How are you? Left a message, remember? Mm hmm. So I'll do what I always do. I'll let some people roll in before I start bringing the messages through that I hear from Spirit. Doing okay, Sarah. How are you doing? Ask her about. She wrote that message. Ask her what that meant. What that meant. That comment. The MIA? Uh oh, I don't know. Sorry, I saw that the, the comment you made earlier. Something about MIA. That referring to you or me? Because I don't. For some reason, you're not coming back into my mind how I know you, Sarah. And there we are. It's reconnecting again. Have you ever done a radio, Sarah? <clears throat> I've been doing lives on Facebook. This is only the uh, actually the second time I'm doing a live here on YouTube. So all my lives are actually going to be on YouTube from now on. So. Does she have? Does she have a Facebook? I don't know. I don't know. Do you have a Facebook page, Sarah C? I mean, you can join me on Facebook. I'm Dennis Pierce. There, it's got a picture of me and Bonnie. All right. Yeah, because I didn't recall ever doing a reading for you. I mean, I can't remember every single person, but certain names will stick out. So join me on Facebook, too. You can find me there as Dennis Pierce. Also have Psychic Medium Dennis Pierce Testimonials, a group page on Facebook. Psychic Medium Dennis Pierce, my actual group page for what I do. So you can find me there, too. How long ago, Sarah? Because I've had over like a thousand lives on Facebook. Was it on Facebook I did the reading for? Because it? it wasn't here. <clears throat> okay. It's God who is the truth, and I just get to hear it. The last time I was on YouTube? Okay. So I remember it worked out. Because it was the first time we did it there, so. And now this is the second. All right. Very good. So that's how I know you, Sarah. Okay. Very good. All right. So where is everybody? Oh, my Lord. Nobody's coming in. Hillport, Washington. How are you? It's not me who's amazing, it's God and Spirit. That word's amazing is all the time. <sighs> I don't know who that is either. It's... 
just um, it got the ability on clear audio and I hear this stuff. So is me. I don't know who Kurt Washington is in there. I know Kurt Washington is not coming up my mind as somebody I know on Facebook. They watch everybody's comments stay there on Facebook Live and on YouTube Live. They come and go really quickly. <clears throat> it maybe go. Second. I'm going to try another Wi Fi now on the 4G and see if that gets a better signal. It doesn't stop reconnecting. All right. All right, we'll give it a few more minutes and let's see who else is going to roll on. So far, it's showing only three people. I don't expect a big crowd, being this is only the second time live on YouTube. And I understand how that works until I get recognized here. And then it'll start picking up. Trina's on. Hi, Trina. How are you? Port Washington, do I know you on Facebook by any chance? Or you just stumbled in here through YouTube and found me tonight? Trying to keep a record who's who. You can answer me, that would be really appreciated. <clears throat> doing good. Bonnie's right next to me, as a matter of fact. She's doing well, too. Thank you for asking, Trina. Okay, very good. So I know where you're from. You can join me on Facebook, too, there, Port Washington, under Dennis Pierce. Or you can find me on Psychic Medium Dennis Pierce Testimonials or my Psychic Medium Dennis Pierce page. I'm on Facebook also. So. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. My lovely Bonnie is right next to me. Hi, Isabella. Oh, there's a little delay. It's like a five-second delay. Five seconds. There's a delay. Yeah, not too bad of a That's delay. Bad. So, Bonnie, can you do me a big favor and sit out and get me some iced tea? Thank you. She said, how are you, honey? Huh? She said, how are you? I'm good. <clears throat> You want? Um, I see it'll be fine. Mandy, did you make any ice tea? Mm-mm. Hello, James. How are you? It's good to hear that you're doing great. Better than hearing you're doing lousy or bad, right? Great's a blessing. It always could be better, James. We can always have something better in our lives, right? <clears throat> That's true. I mean, the Spirit does direct me to who gets the messages. And it's not because you've been any less chosen from somebody else. Most of the time, the messages are meant for that person that needs to hear it more than you do. I'm in the lower Hudson Valley there, Port Washington, down by the Poughkeepsie area. I'm in Hyde Park, where our late President Roosevelt came from. I'm in the town of Hyde Park. Lower Hudson Valley. We're about probably about an hour and a half away from each other. If you're up in Albany. Give it a few more minutes, okay? Let some more people roll in and then we'll get going. And I'll let Spirit direct me to who. We ain't got a lot of people in here tonight, so there's a good chance everybody will receive a message, okay? If you just hang in there and hold on, all right? Because so far we only have five people in there, and I can knock out five readings real quick. 
Mind you, these are mini readings and not a full half hour or anything like that. You have to book a one-on-one -on -one section for me, that kind of a reading. And my readings are pretty affordable. They're $55 for a half hour, $125 for the hour. If you want a mediumship, a loved one connection to somebody in heaven, that's an hour reading. I won't do anything less than those because I've tried to do that before. And once we have that 1-800-HEAVEN number open, nobody wants to let go. So and they always drag me past the half hour. So the minimum I'll do on those is an hour, okay? Direction, guidance can be given. You can ask questions during your reading. Have spirit rebuildings during your reading with the guidance and direction type situation if you need it. Faith restored, realizing that God truly is there because he shows you to you and what I hear. And that's been shown over a thousand times with a thousand lives on Facebook. So this isn't really my first time at the rodeo doing this. I've been doing this for a couple of years now. It's just now we're breaking into YouTube. That's all. It's the only difference between what we did on Facebook and what we're doing here. Okay? So. <clears throat> all right. All right. The Spirit's already directing me to you, Port Washington. What's your first name? It's kind of weird calling you Port Washington. Can you reveal your name to me so I know who I'm talking to, please? And if you can say yes to me right now, and I'll listen to what Spirit has to say in regards to you. All right. She's got to validate. Mm-hmm. Make sure she can tell Yep. Got to validate. Okay, your name is Joseph. All right, Joseph, thank you. All right. She didn't even know you were a man. That There you go. Hence, see, I don't know. Spirit didn't refer to you as a woman or man to me anyway, so I wouldn't know. All right. Now, this is how the process works. Okay, Joseph, this is how it works. As Spirit gives you the messages that receiving that you're receiving, I need you to validate them as quickly as possible. Like you will understand by saying yes, or if you don't understand what he's saying to you, let me know, and I'll have him reiterate to you so you will understand the message, okay? So just please validate as we're going along, okay? All right, awesome. All right, from this point forward, I'm going to tell you what I'm listening and hearing from Spirit, all right? So let me tune into what Spirit has to say, and I'll tell you what I hear. Okay. First thing I'm hearing, Joseph, you're in a bad position with somebody lately. Somebody's been giving you a hard time. Not always on your side with some things. Making you feel like you're incapable of doing something. Not happy with this person, are you, Spirit said? Something about a place right next to you that needs repairs. Some damage due to something. He's really going, he's talking a lot about you. Hold on, just give me a second. He's bombarding me with stuff about you. Hold on. Take it easy. Slow down, man. You give me so much at one time. All right. Something about a father figure that passed nine years. He's given me nine years with this passing. A father figure. I don't know whose father this is. Could be your grandfather, your father, a friend of yours, father. A stepfather, a father figure, nine years I'm hearing. That making sense, Joseph? Also a sister that's no longer here. Okay, who's the father figure nine years? Did mom act like a father figure? Is, is that the case with her? Because I'm getting a nine years, and you're making a validation with mom being nine years, and he's saying father figure. 
Okay, very good. Thank you, Joseph. All right, let me listen. Who, who passed 17 years ago? This is a sister figure I'm getting. This goes 17 years ago. An accident, he's saying. This was your sister, Louise. Thank you, Joseph. That was 17 years ago, correct? Thank you for that validation. It was an accident. Yes. Thank you for that validation, Joseph. All right, let me listen. Car accident. Car accident. Thank you. Thank you for that validation. Move. You're thinking about a move? Just came in. Champagne, sweet. Hello, Champagne. How are you? James, are you, Joseph, are you thinking about a move? He's talking about a move with you. Don't shake, brother. This is God showing you to you. That's all. Okay. Yes, thank you for that validation with the move. This is what happens, Joseph. Don't get all shaky up. Seriously, because it's just God showing you to you. That's what I do. All right? To Florida. Thank you for that validation. We could sit here all night, Joseph, and I could do that for 24 hours with you and tell you all about your life and what I'm hearing. It's also nice to meet you also, Champagne. Welcome. This is my second YouTube live. I'm a clairvoyant, clairaudient psychic medium. I'm the messenger. I get the messages. I give you the messages I hear. But welcome. So we are paying messages tonight because there's not a big crowd in here. So don't go anywhere if you want to receive some messages, all right? All right, Joseph, back to you. I'm like all pumped, ready to do this night, too. I'm like tuning right in, getting everything. All right. Jo Joseph, do you have a photograph of someone that you cherish? It's what God's got me doing, Champagne. I'm his messenger, so. Yes, you do. Thank you. Thank you for that validation. He's calling up a necklace, too. A necklace. Can you please get that? That's my phone. I'm sorry. My phone's ringing for my son. Shit. What's with the necklace? He's giving me a necklace also. All right, he's calling up seven months ago. Seven months ago, what? The necklace was given to you by Lizzie Louise. Thank you so much for that validation, Joseph. They're obviously showing you to you, right? This is not stuff I could know about you. He's given me seven months ago. You got to think back seven months ago. Somebody in your life no longer there? Somebody separated from you seven months ago? Hi, Sarah. How are you? Thank you for that validation, too. Well, he's definitely rocking the messages to you, ain't he, Joseph? Mr. Port Washington. He, he, God definitely knows who you are, doesn't he? You see that? You see that? Welcome, Sarah. All right. Let me listen. It was just the dog that passed seven months ago. Okay. All right. That's the seven months she's talking about. Thank you for the validation. All right, let me listen. Things, two more things he's saying for you. Two more things he's going to give you here tonight, Joseph, because these are like mini readings. You come do a one-on-one -on -one with me, brother, from the start to the end, you're going to be amazed because that's the word I hear every time, amazing. And it's not me, it's God and spirit that's amazing. So know that you'll see tenfold what you're seeing here, okay? This is only a tip of the iceberg that what can be shown here. Okay, very good. Just get a hold of me on Facebook. What I'll do is I'll post my phone number up here, and you can do all that through the phone with me, make a scheduled appointment or whatever. All right. He, he said, now, two more things, Joseph. Let me listen to what he has to say, and I'll tell you what these two things are, right? Yeah. One is that you're not happy with someone right now. 
This person's been causing you problems lately. Try to get even. Looking for a way to try to get even. Let it go, brother. Let it go. Don't don't get even. It ain't worth that shit. Okay. Very good. All right. Number two. You think you know what you're doing with someone right now, but they're deceiving you, he's saying, in a big way. In a way that you're not even realizing, Joseph. And they're going to show you that in a future time, he said. All right? Talk to you. Also, your sister would love to talk to you. This is one of... <coughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh my God, something to drink. Your sister Louise would love to talk to you. This is what Spirit's saying. I issues she'd like to get resolved is what I'm hearing. And now he said this is the last thing he's going to give you, Joseph. Your dad's not happy with someone the way they're acting. You know what this means, Spirit said. He doesn't have a way to say what he has to now. And that's another way to find that out, too, he said, okay? All right. All right, Joseph. So it's obvious that God and Spirit know you very well. I mean, from the beginning of your session till now, until he finished it, he was spot on with you, right? It, it happens, Sarah. There are people that are haters out there. People have the nerve to call me a fake and a fraud all the time. Just, where can I get this stuff from? I got a thousand live Facebook sessions. How are you going to call me a fake and a fraud? That's so ridiculous. I, I don't pay attention to that anymore. I mean, even the best psychic mediums in the world get attacked by people. So, like, you know, how am I different from anybody else? It's going to happen. I don't even dwell on that stuff. <coughs> No, well, Dr. Phil's a reptilian. Don't you realize that? He's not even a damn human being. He's a damn alien. When I grabbed that man's hands to shake it on the stage, I felt like I was grabbing a monitor lizard. All right? They got videos of his eyes shape-shifting. That guy's not even a freaking human. And do you think for one second that God's messenger is going to get a fair shake on an Illuminati-controlled TV show network? Come on, man. If you believe everything you see on TV, all I got to say, you're a special kind of stupid. Special kind of stupid. Because I have over a thousand Facebook lives that show I'm spot on all the time. So Dr. Phil's a liar and a fraud. That's all he is. And once I get recognized in the world, I'm definitely suing his ass. And I'm taking this $32 million mansion and making it into a homeless shelter. So get ready, Dr. Phil. You'll be living in a homeless shelter yourself someday. I'll make that guy look like an idiot that he is. So. Hi. <laughs> It's true, Champagne. If you believe everything you see on TV, come on. You know, I turned the TV off like eight years ago. I haven't watched TV since. Maybe an occasional like DVD movie or something like that. I don't watch TV no more, man. My brain cleared out so quick it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. Thank you for your validations, brother. And like I said, you can find me on Facebook. And, and if you want, can... You type in my number here. I'm going to put out my phone number right now. <laughs> so if you'd like to schedule a reading with me, I can hook you up my business manager when you call. And she'll schedule everything up and do the payment through PayPal or Venmo or whatever the process you guys handle. I don't handle all that stuff. My business manager does all that. I just merely do the readings. All right. Okay. You're right, Champagne, it is. It's all propaganda. It's like crap, you know? Uh, TV is just, it, it's a mind control device. It really is. Subliminal messages being given to people and all that crap. I don't trust TV no more. That's right. My number is public anyways. Trust me. If somebody calls me and gives me a hard time, I can block them anyway. That's not a problem. You know, if you want to contact me to schedule a reading. 
You better look me up on Facebook, one or the other. It doesn't bother me. If you want a reading, let me know, and we can definitely get it set up for you. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see where we're going to go now. <clears throat> All right. What is that? The Kiss of Sarah. That's a unique name. <clears throat> oh, my God. My throat is so dry. It's not good for somebody to speak and to have a dry throat, huh? <coughs> All right. Maybe that work. All right, you do the kiss of Sarah. What's your name on Facebook so I know it's you? Oh, Sarah Prince, uh, Prince Village. Oh, it, it's... You said earlier, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Losing track of everything. It's All right. Facebook. All right, Joseph. Again, thank you for your validations. You had a, definitely had a spot-on session with Spirit, no doubt. He keyed on a lot of important things with you. All right. Let, let me see where I'm going to go now. I'll have Spirit direct me to the next person. Who's going to be my next victim? All right. Mm -hmm. All right, Sarah, Sarah C., why don't you step forward and say yes, Sarah, and I'll, and I'll tell you what I'm hearing from you, for you, from Spirit, okay? All right, Sarah, very good. Make sure you validate as we're going along, Sarah, please, so everybody sees that the messages are truthful and accurate for you, all right, please? All right, let me listen. Exactly. Oh, who passed around you, Sarah, recently? Somebody passed around you recently. Week, uh, no, week's time? Nobody as far as you know. Somebody passed around you within seven days, he said. <clears throat> Hold on. He's throwing me a lot of stuff about you, Sarah. Hold on. Let me narrow him down and get this. Okay. You may find out about this, okay? Okay. Hold on. He's bouncing around with me right now. Give me one second. I'll be right back. I just want to clarify some things with Spirit, and I want to do it privately, all right? Like what? Talk to me. Tell me. All right, Sarah. They're not. They're not gonna. What? The long gist of what he's been telling me. They're not gonna do anything more with you here. This needs to be privately done with you. There's a reason for that. I'm hearing. Because this is nobody's business but yours. I don't know what he they want to talk to you about, but this is what I'm hearing. Here, we can't do this for you here, he said. There's a lot of reasons why. Some you know about. Others we can reveal, he said, okay? Sarah, this is the first time he's ever done this with anybody, so I don't know why he's doing this for you. I, I have no idea. All right, so... 
This is very strange. I've never had this happen. In the thousand lives and the thousands and thousands of readings I've done, I've never heard this said before. I, I literally had to walk out and go into a private conference with this over here. Sarah, did, uh, apparently this is for your ears only. You're going to book a private session with me. Uh, I don't know what's going on in your life. You probably know, you know a whole lot better than I do. I don't know what's going on in your life, but these are things for your ears only. I don't know why. It's, you said you know what this means. <clears throat> Maybe that's why he don't want to say it here. If you're If you're honestly scared to hear it, that obviously is the reason why he's not doing it here. Okay. All right. Like I said, Sarah, I'm not lying to you. This has never happened. Okay. All right, Sarah. If, if you want to continue with me, set up a one-on-one -on -one session. Do a half hour with me for 55. You know what I mean? And we'll find out what's going on. If it's going to take any longer than that, then you'll have to come back and do the rest, I guess. All right. That's all I can do, honey. I'm sorry. All I can tell you is what I hear. All right. Sarah, you said this is not going to be discussed here. This is not mm -hmm. going to be discussed here. I'm telling you, he's never done this before. Never done this before. All right. Okay. James. All right, James, can you step forward and say, yes, James, he's directing me to you now. Spirit said your name to me, so that means he's directing me to you. All right, you're so very welcome, Sarah. I don't know what's going on. You know you look better than I. There's some direction and guidance needed maybe to behoove you to, to come do that one-on-one -on -one session to get them to tell you what's going on. I don't know, but it's for your ears only. I just, that's what he said to me privately. James, can you come forward and say yes, please? Are you still here, James? Hmm. There's actually three Sarahs in here tonight. James, where are you? Last time I'm calling out your name. If you don't say yes, I'm moving on to somebody else, all right? He may have too. He may have. I'm going to give him like another 30 seconds to come back. Maybe he went out to the bathroom or something. James, you need to step forward and say yes, please. And I have a book right in front of me. It's not like I'm looking up this freaking information anywhere, okay? It don't happen like that. I just, I write things down as I'm heard, I hear them. Okay, yeah, and Amanda's got her phone on this right now, so, yep. you know, there's no shenanigans. And this stuff that's being revealed is not on people's Facebook pages. That That's just insanity that people say that about me. That, those are just the haters. Okay, James, you're not here, so we're going to just go. Champagne, Champagne, can you step forward and say yes, please? Uh, I know you didn't call her out her. I just called you out. He didn't. Well, I'll do it anyway, Spirit said. All right. All right, thank you, Champagne. Make sure you validate as we're going along, okay, dear? All right, I'm going to tune in, listen to what he has to say, and I'll tell you what I start hearing, okay? A friend that's no longer around you, he's given me a nine-month period. A nine-month period with this friend not being around you. Changed a lot of things. An argument that changed a lot of things. Trust. This was someone you thought you could trust, he said. Come to this. Never thought it would come to this. He's given me a nine-month period ago.
he's, he's telling me, ask her who Nancy is. Who's Nancy? Champagne, do you know this Nancy he's talking about? I, I need you to validate, dear, please. Because here's the thing about how this spirit does this with me. If you don't validate, he cuts me off. You know a couple of Nancys. Okay. What's with this friend that's no longer around you? He's giving me a nine-month period. Do you know what he's talking about with that? Maureen, too. He's giving me a woman's name, Maureen. Who's Maureen? You know the couple of Nancys. Who's Maureen? He's throwing names at me with you. These are people around you. This could go way back, darling. It could go back to school. You know, it could be from freaking kindergarten, for all I know. Just keep that name in your mental filing cabinet up right there, all right? This may be somebody you may meet tomorrow, and you'll freak you out and say, wow, you know, I just heard this name yesterday, Maureen. So keep that locked in your mental filing cabinet, all right, if you're not getting it right now, because this person may come before you. Somebody serving military service. Okay, just keep it there. That's 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 cool. Thank you. This is a brother figure that served in the military. Now, brother figure could be a brother, stepbrother, somebody you consider like a brother, a brother-in-law. He generically throws me that brother figure type thing. So, look in all those different areas. Who do you know that served in the military? Is your uncle okay? A brotherhood of something. He just said that to me. A brotherhood of something. I I don't know what that means. A brotherhood of something. Cool. For your uncle. He belongs to a brotherhood. Does he belong to some kind of organization or something? A union. Unions are considered brother brotherhoods. Biker gang. Okay, he's part of a biker gang. All right, so that would be a brotherhood. Very good. Thank you. That's the uncle he's talking about. Thank you for that validation. That would definitely be considered a brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mom got a name for you. She used to call you by a name, not your given name. Another name she would call you as? That making sense? Something mom would call you by another name? Did they think you were going to be a boy? He's saying to this, that your parents thought you were going to be a boy. It turned out to be a girl. That making sense? He's saying that to me. Okay, find out. Mom's still around. Ask her. Did, did they think you were going to be a boy? Find out. Okay, she, this may have never been revealed to you, and it may be revealed to you after you talk to your mom. And you'll know it, and they're showing you that. All right. Has someone new come into your life? He was part of the Ghost Riders Pipe Club. Oh, okay, that would definitely be a brotherhood of champagne. Have you been seeing somebody lately? He's bringing this up that you're seeing somebody lately. It's so fun. He's saying nine days of fun. He said it to read three times. Nine days of fun. What's he referring to with that? The nine days of fun. This is what I'm hearing. I don't know either, darling. It's what I'm hearing. You just put all these things into your head. I mean, you're being called upon right now to understand what they mean. Okay. Was this a vacation? Fun. It, 
it might possibly so. Do you know a Susan? He's talking about a Susan now with you. Susan, he just gave me Susan. Who's that? Who is Susan? <clears throat> no Susan. There's got to be someone somewhere. He, he just said you're not recalling these people. So he's, he's not going to just throw your names that somebody you haven't met or somebody you aren't going to meet. That far back? Yes, seventh grade. Seventh grade. He's giving you Susan from seventh grade. I don't know how old you are, Champagne. Can you remember back to seventh grade? That's where he says this Susan is from, from seventh grade. She moved away. Susan's from seventh grade. He's away. Do you remember your friend in seventh grade named Susan? He's really going far back, I'm sure. Okay, because this is when he's given this time when you knew the Susan. Do you have any, like, you know, your grammar school, like, yearbooks or anything like that? Look through them. See if you can pull out the Susan. You may recall. You may get that memory spur at that point, okay? Okay, very good, Sarah. Uh, they definitely want to talk to you in private, and I don't know why, Sarah. He's never done that. I mean, he's called people forward to go and get other messages, yes, but not that they give you hardly anything here. It's just, it has to be for your ears only, he said to me in private. All right. All right, Champagne, let me listen. A heartache for someone who passed, he's saying. Why does he keep on saying a heart attack in the house? He said it to me several times, a heart attack in the house. You've had a lot of families pass with heart attack. Because he's giving me that heart attack in the house. Okay, very good. All right. Because you're saying heart attack in the house is what he said to me. That's what I just heard. Trucks. What's with the monster trucks? You know those big trucks like Grave Digger and whatever, Bigfoot or whatever the hell it is? Monster trucks. What's with the monster truck thing? He's bringing this up with you. Monster trucks. Can you tell me what that means, Champagne? Monster trucks. I don't know why he's saying this to me. Monster truck show, he just said. You went to a show just once. A monster truck show. Okay. That's not something everybody has attended, mind you. Especially here in New York, we don't get those here at all, period. There's no monster truck shows here. <clears throat> all right, let me go, son. Something about a brother not always being in your life. Did he move with somebody else, live with somebody else? Not around you your whole life. What's with this brother that he's talking about? Only have one what? Mm -hmm. 
Your brother lives with you. What time, Ash Barrett? Was there a time where he wasn't with you? One brother. Okay, he's calling up the brother. So we're showing you that he, he's showing you that you do have a brother. Yes. A time where you weren't together. He's not talking about right now. A time where you weren't together. Period. He's saying a three-year period. What's what's he referring to? Three-year period between you and your brother. Your dad has lost a child that you don't know of. Okay. All right. So that could explain that. Okay. So I got a nephew being sick. Vincent. He's giving me Vincent or Vinny. Vincent or Vinny. Why is he showing me those two names with you? Vincent and Vinny. And we're hoping this is going to stay charged. I mean, we came into this with only a 38% charge. But he's, got, he's giving you a lot of names that you don't know, Champagne. And, and that never really happens, I'll tell you. Usually everybody remembers the names he's talking about. So I don't know why you're not hitting on him. And he's giving you quite a few. There, there was the Nancy you said you knew. The Maureen you didn't know. The Susan you didn't know. Now Vincent you don't know. So get, write those names down, all right? Please write those names down because they may come back to you. All right. Go. All right, Spirit said one more thing before we let you go. Clearly, he said you need to think about this very clearly. All right, thank you, Champagne. Thank you. All right, he said you need to think about this very clearly. Now, you do talk to God, he said. It's not like an every single kind of day thing. Sometimes you go on a roll for a little while, and then there's times you don't. Oh, that's true, Spirit said. Do you wonder why God allows certain things in your life? Do you wonder why God does certain things in your life? Because he just said this to me. Okay. He said you need to think about this too very carefully. A father figure that wanted you to become something that you did not be become. Wanted you going in a different direction than you did. This is making sense to you, a father figure. Wanted you to be something that you didn't turn out to be. Okay, thank you. Can he be sometimes loud? Dad, loud? Voice is very domineering when he wants to. Has a side to him that nobody really questions. Because of an affiliation. Separation there. There's been some separation there. Oh, okay, yeah, but you cut it. He just said there's been some separation there. And as I looked down, you said, yeah, I cut ties with him. There's been some separation with you two. He's saying that. <clears throat> Mom don't want nothing to do with him? This is what I'm hearing. Long gone. Long gone, he said to me. Long gone. He 
he keeps on saying to me, 19 years, 19 years, 19 years. He said it to me three times, that's 19 years. What does the 19 years mean, Champagne? been a, long, a little longer, I think. All right, because he's giving me 19 years. It could give or take a little, you know what I mean? But he's saying that 19-year time frame. I don't know what the 19 years means, but obviously you do. Between them. Okay, very good. All right. All right. Champagne, you said one more thing before we let you go for now? Because there's questions you want answered, he said. Questions that are driving you crazy, you want answered. What, what's with the horses? Horses. Horses. He's giving me horses with you. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> What's with the horses? Now let's get him to reiterate this. What he means by the horses. So let me find out what what spirit means by the horses. Okay. Hold on, let, let me listen to what he has to say about the horses. When you were little, did you want a horse? Alright, because he's getting between seven and eight years old. This is when you had the desire for horses. Hello, Jake. How are you? Last thing he's going to say. All right, Champagne, this is the last thing he's going to say to you here, okay? This carefully. You need to think about this carefully, he said. Never forget why you're doing what you want to do. You want to do what I'm doing right now. But you're not really there yet, Spirit said. Now here's the thing to get to there. He said you need to believe in God stronger. Sometimes... You wonder about him sometimes. You wonder about him sometimes, he's saying. Not always sure if he's there. He knows that about you, Spirit's saying. You question the validity of Spirit even, he said. He said, now think about what that, what we just said. All right? Champagne, that's what he's saying to me. That's all for now. He said, that's all for now, okay? If you want more, come get it, he said. All right, very good, Champagne. So it's obvious they're saying, just you, you wrote down those names, right? Let me give them to you again because I wrote them down. The Susan, the Maureen, the Nancy you said you knew. And who else was the other one? The Vincent and Vinny. Write those names down, all right? So maybe you'll recall them or they'll come into your life, one or the other. But those names are pertinent for you somehow, okay? So please write them down, all right? All right, very good. All right, thank you, sister. Thank you. All right, let's see where we're going to go now. 
<clears throat> all right. Can you all give me like a minute or two? I have to go use the bathroom. Bonnie, can you step in for a minute? My lovely fiance, Bonnie's going to step in for a minute while I go use the restroom, okay? Thank you, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. go. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Hi, Trina. <laughs> Hi, Isabella. So how's everybody doing? I don't understand uh, what's collision. What do you mean, Jake? Oh, Colin. Colin, where's Colin? Colin's... Where's Colin Jake, at? Jake Yo, wrote. Colin's my son. Huh? Jake, Jake, Jake Roman. Is that one of Colin's friends? Is that Colin's, one of Colin's friends? He said, where's Colin at? Yo, Colin's my son. Do you know Colin, Jake? Colin has a friend named Jake. I'm good, Isabella. I'm good. Oh, okay. So you're Colin's friend. Well, hi, Jake. He's home with his mother. He's coming back to live with me. Though. I'm not. But he'll be he'll be living back with his dad. All right, I'll let him know. Okay, same thing. You're welcome, Jake. All right, you ready? One second. Okay, one second. Dennis will be back in one second. So, here we are on YouTube. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. There's only like a 10 second delay. Get the hell's up with your sleeve. Oh, is that stank? Stank? What stank? What stank, Jake? He said stank. Jake is calling us around from that. I know who Jake is. Yes, Isabella, YouTube is our new home. Yahoo! <laughs> he just put in the phone. Oh, God. I had an echo like that. Alright, I'm ready. Alright, everybody. Well, Dennis is... Dennis is back. I will give you back to Dennis. God bless and love you all. Hey everybody, sorry about that. Nature called. You gotta go? You gotta go. Can't hold when you don't have in your hand, right? What's up, Jake? How you doing, buddy? You still got that stingray there? How's your dad? Hope everything's okay, Jake. Colin's going to be going to Hyde Park School. He's not to Arlington now, so. All right. Let's see where we're going to go now. Okay, okay, okay. All right.
he meant thanks, not stank. <laughs> I got what he meant by yeah. that. You didn't do good in spelling, Jake. <laughs> you and Colin both. It's not your fault. It's the school's fault. All right, let me see where we're going to go now. Let's see who's all still here. we got four people here. Let me know you're here because YouTube's showing me there's only four people here. So let me know who's here so I don't call out names that somebody's not here. If you're here, just say hello so I know you're here. <coughs> okay, the kiss of Sarah. Isabella's here. Okay, that's two. Trina's here. Deirdre's here. Deirdre, I didn't even know you were here. Hi, Deirdre. Welcome. All right. Let me see where he's going to take me to. Trina. Isabella. Trina and Deirdre. So just the four. Sarah, the kiss of. Yeah, she goes by Sarah. So okay. Five. No, there's four. No, five. No. Hi, Deirdre. How are you? Deirdre, is uh, you're a friend of mine from Facebook? Who here? I, I know. Trina and Isabella Sarah. and okay. Sarah knows me from Facebook. Dear Joy, I know you're from Facebook too, too correct? Sarah, he's directing me to you now, Sarah. You know how it works. Spirit directs me to somebody. It's you, Sarah. Sarah, can you say yes? Okay, yes, I thought so. All right, good, Sarah. Let me listen to what he has to say for you, all right? All right. It's a long day today now, my dear. Something about the tendency to be upset with somebody lately. Somebody. Not always getting along with somebody, he's saying. A month and a half up and down, he's saying. Okay, a month and a half, he's saying. Who, who's this involved with this month and a half? Okay. A, headache. A, a brother who's a headache? It's the aunt he's talking about. Because he, he gave me the time frame, a month and a half. It's a month and a half. It's it's somebody in that month and a half period. It was a headache. A brother who's a headache, he said. He he has to be catered to, I'm hearing. Okay, this is your older brother. All right. Some people don't understand him, he's saying. That way. He has a good heart, but a lot of people don't see it that way. Because of the people he's with? I, I think I know who he's talking about, Sarah. I think I remember. I did a reading for you. This the brother that's the biker? That who he's talking about, Sarah? You remember that reading? Yes. Uh, I do. He's in jail. Okay. Was your bro your brother a biker? Yes. Yeah. No. So you're somebody else. Because I, I did a reading for somebody named Sarah that her brother was a biker. What's the nine years mean? Nine years, you just said to me. This is involving your brother. What's the nine years mean? Can you validate that, Sarah? What's this nine years mean? In and out of jail. For nine years, that's what the nine years means? 
For about nine years. All right. There you go. Thank you for that validation. Very good. Very good. All right. Alrighty then. All right. Okay. Let me go, son. Someone in a car accident not too long back. Who was in a car accident? I, I double repeat myself. I'm listening to myself do that. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I'm trying to get the message through so they hear it. Your car got hit. All right, very good. Thank you for that validation. Thank you. All right. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me listen. Going to a parade you like going to? Why is he saying this to me? A parade you like going to? The order of something. What what the hell does that mean? The order of something. I'm writing this stuff down as he's giving it to you. Well, what's with the parade? What, what's that mean, Sarah? All right, you went to one a few weeks ago with the kids. All right. Well, what's with the order of something? Like, I don't know, the Freemasons, whatever, you know, astronauts of America, whatever. Some kind of order of something. What's, what does that mean? Because that was the next thing he gave me with you. And yeah, I am smoking. Don't worry, you're not going to get secondhand smoke. Not sure. Put that in your mental file on cabinet. That may come back to you later. All right, Sarah? Uh, let me get him to reiterate what he means by this order or something first before I, I give you that. This is something that your father was involved in. This was dad. Something he was in an order of something. Uh, you see, he's not saying say this. A company logo that meant a lot. A company logo that meant a lot. Do you understand what he's talking about with that? Meant a lot, he said. This this was dad. I'm circling the dad. He's saying this is involving dad. This order or something. <clears throat> also, the company logo meant a lot. I don't know what that means, whether it's for you or him. The order of something is around dad. He, he's pointing that to him. Something that your dad was involved with, with friends. He's saying that to me. What's with the reunion, too? I'm hearing a reunion. He just mentioned that to me, a reunion. Nine days ago, a reunion with someone you haven't seen. And somebody you knew I haven't seen nine days ago? Did you just recently run into you somebody you haven't seen for a while? Go, so he's saying nine days ago. He keeps on emphasizing this nine days ago. I'm circling the hell out of that too. That nine days is pertinent. Do you recall this reunion he's talking about, Sarah? Okay, the reunion. All right, so 10 days ago, so nine days ago. All right. That's what the reunion is. I guess the family was all there, right? And everything. Okay, all right. That That's where the reunion part comes in. Okay, very good. And he's saying nine days ago, give or take, you know, you could be off by a couple hours or whatever it did. I don't know, heaven's time frame ain't our time frame. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's saying nine days ago. You're saying ten. All right. That's when that ballpark figure. Okay. 
But the reunion being that you haven't seen family in years. Okay, very good. So that's definitely validated by you. All right. Because I can only tell you all what I hear, and we have to figure out what this is all meaning. And you're, you're definitely getting it, Sarah. You're definitely getting it. Hmm. Hello, Sonny. How are you? All right. Let me listen, Sarah. All right, Sarah, you said one more thing for you? One more thing for you in this session here. Something about a horoscope made you wonder why you said why it said that or something like that. Something to do with this horoscope. What's with the horoscope, Sarah? Ago. About a month ago, he said. About a month ago, do you want a horoscope really bugged you out? Do you recall this, Sarah? This is what he's telling me. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that validation. All right. You need to come talk to him. There's things you need to hear. He just said to me, Sarah. He said, he said, he knows it's not easy for you to make this happen, but you can do it if you really try. There's things you really need to hear to get guidance with, he's saying, Spirit. Some things that you need clarification with. That you're questioning. Things that you don't have the answers to. This is what I'm hearing. But things that you need help with. I'm telling you exactly what he's saying to me. Okay, alright. Is that the clarification that he's talking about? Because I'm assuming that with the friend of your, your, your friend's death. Involving that, there were questions involving that. He's saying that weren't answered. No, it was left unknown. I don't know what this means. Unknown. This is what he just said to me. Mysterious. Mysterious. He's saying mysterious. Mysterious. Two people involved. Two people involved, Sarah, I'm hearing. In his death. They weren't able to stop what happened, so... I don't know, this is what he's saying about this friend's death. Again, weren't able to stop what happened. All right, thank you for that validation. You know, now, there's things you need to know, he said, Sarah. Just come book a session with Dennis, he said. They'll help you through this, okay? This is what I'm hearing, Sarah, right? And that's all you're going to hear from now, right now, Spirit said. But you will come. This is what he's saying. You will come to hear what the rest they have to say. We see you doing it. So, Sarah, try to get a hold of me on Facebook, okay? All right. They can help you with this, Sarah. Trust me. You know, if, listen, I think the... the, the, <coughs> the thing that I'm feeling, and this is just me personally, Sarah... That's just maybe something that you may want to reconnect with this person in heaven. All right? So that's going to take like an hour session with me. All right? It's going to be a mediumship type thing where you can bring him through. All right? You can ask him validation questions and he'll answer your questions. Trust me. You'll know it's this person. All right? It's to be done. This is what needs to be done. This is what I'm hearing. Questions. Unanswered questions. 
So they're showing you this, Sarah. You know they're not blowing smoke up your butt right now. And this ain't me doing this. We do get you to come for a reading because I really care if you do or don't. It's like I'm back to work. I'm not playing psychic medium no more. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to pay my bills like everybody else. I do tons and tons of free live readings. And you can tell people all the truth of everything in their life and they'll never come do a reading. So, you know, I can't rely on waiting for people to come do a readings to pay my bills either. So, so I'm done playing psychic medium. All right, yeah, he's saying you can make it happen, though, okay? All right, you're so very welcome. And there you go, thank God. There you got it right, Sarah. God gets all the glory, no doubt. I'm just a messenger, I just to get to hear this stuff. All right, Sarah, thank you for your validations, all right? He was definitely banging it to you, no doubt. All right. Okay, can we get a, a heads up again? Because I've seen some people come in since I've been doing this. I just want to make a make a list of who's here again so i know who spirit can direct me to <clears throat> all right all right isabella you're here still trina thank you trina if you're here say that you're here okay please so i can have spirit direct me to the next person there's a there zara nicole deirdre's here thank you deirdre zyra thank you Who else is here? Because it's showing me nine people here. Sunny. Sunny, thank you. Because when I'm doing the messages, I don't pay, pay attention to lots of what people are saying. I look down, I glance occasionally for the validations, that's all. So I don't see when people come in. Oh, all right, that's five people so far that said they're here. There's nine total that's showing me. We still got four people that have to let me know they're here, please. Amanda. <laughs> okay, yeah, yes, Amanda, yes. She's sitting right next to me. Amanda's here, too. And Bonnie's not here, but she's, she's because here. Because you got my phone. That's right. <laughs> All right, Deirdre, he just said your name to me. Deirdre, he's directing me to you. Deirdre, can you step forward and say yes, please? And those of you who receive readings, if you can leave like a... A testimonial on my testimonial page, the little mini reading, that's awesome too. Just go under Psychic Medium Dennis Pierce Testimonials. If you can leave a testimonial to your reading tonight, that'd be awesome. All right, because you are getting it for free here, obviously. You know what I mean? I'm devoting my time to give this away. All right, Deirdre, thank you for your yes. All right, I'm going to start listening to what he has to say to you, Deirdre, and I'll tell you what I'm hearing, okay? Thank you, Father, for the messages she's about to receive. Thank you, Father. Something about you want to meet up with somebody to have something to say to them. Something, something you have to get cleared up with somebody. You're waiting for the opportunity. It has to be right. The, the timing has to be right, he said. To get what you have to say off your heart. Okay, thank you, Deirdre. An instigator. He's giving me instigator. Tinker face came in. A, a, Who's Tinker face? A tough persona. Hi, Tinker face. Persona. Tough persona. So, you want to be free of something, too, he's saying, dear, dear. You want to be free of something. Like something that's holding you back. Something that's holding you back. That you're not happy with this person with. Isn't it? It's time for a change, isn't it, he said. The, the tide has changed. It's gone out now, Spirit said. It's not where it once was. Fading quickly. He's just throwing this all at me. 
the the time has come for the change. I don't know what he's talking about, dear. I hope to God you do, because I have no clue what he's talking about with this. All right. Okay. So that's making total sense now, what you just validated here. All right. So you understand what he's saying to you. All right. Very good. Because I had no clue where he was going with this, but you obviously do. And that's the way it goes. You're the recipient of the messages, and the messenger always gets the messages, and you we all hear it, and you're all saying yes. Unless there's something that you're not recalling at that given second. All right. All right. Thank you, Deirdre. Thank you. All right. Let me listen. Why is the month of August important to you? Stacy is Tinker Face. Why is the month of August important to you? Is there birth dates in that month? Anniversaries? What's with this month of August? Bonnie, can you get me a George juice, please? Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. That's your birthday month. Rock and roll with that one. August. Very good, dear, dear. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Three. November and anniversary, he said. November and anniversary. Whose anniversary is in November? This could be a wedding anniversary, a death anniversary. Uh, I don't know what this anniversary is, but the month of November. Thank you, Bonnie. Oh my God, that tastes so good. Cold iced tea. Oh my God. What's with the... Deirdre, it's an anniversary of some kind. Okay. All right, so that's the November. That's the anniversary for that. All right, very good. So we got both those months with you. Very good. Thank you for that validation. All right. Who had the head injury? He's giving me a head injury. This is a, a brother figure. This could be a brother-in-law, a brother, stepbrother. Natural brother, someone you consider like a brother. He's giving me head head injury. Stitches. He keeps on saying stitches. Stitches. It's ringing a bell, De Deirdre. It was all right. He said it was a brother figure. It was, it was your brother that was in a car accident. Did he have to get stitches? <clears throat> yes, several. Very good. Thank you for that validation, dear Dre. He's definitely spot on with you. All right. Oh, God bless you there, Spider. <laughs> spider just barked in the kitchen here. Hopefully nobody heard that. You got a lot of spiders here in New York. They bark. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God, that was embarrassing. That wasn't me. I'm telling you, I I take the Fifth Amendment. I was not me that barked like a spider. Tinkerface heard it. She just said, "LOL." <laughs> that wasn't me. Spirit didn't do it either. So him and I are innocent. I didn't do that. All right, you can't hold what you don't have in your hand. That's all I know. All right, here, Drew, he's definitely banging it to you, no doubt. All right. Hang. All right, one more thing he said, Deirdre. Well, now we know who did it. It was Amanda. Oh, my God. It was on everybody farts. Oh, my God. Some people are loud farters. Some people are, they go with little poof sound, you know? That's Stacy. Okay, Stacy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. All right, dear Drew, he said one more thing for you, sister. One more thing. Let me listen to what the one thing is. You were doing okay there for a while there, talking to God. 
then some things come into your life that got you kind of busy. And you laid off a little bit, he's saying. You were, why don't you go back to where you were? Now, you were doing good when you were talking to God more three months ago, he said. Hi, Jody, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube live. Yes, that is so true. That's the one that's always true. Only God can show you that one there, Deirdre. Kick that up a notch, sister. Go back to where you were. Start talking to God more. Like, listen, dear, at least once a day, say, God, I love you. He don't forget to love you every day. You know, he don't forget to love me. Don't forget Jody. He don't forget to love Ziara, Sonny, Amanda, anyone. All right, so he's showing you that, Deirdre. Okay, and only God can show you that one. Because we're the one we're all praying to him, right? I mean, you know, spirit don't know this either. I tell everybody who works through the chain of command, God tells spirit, spirit tells me, I tell you. That's how it's plain and simple it works, because God's the one that knows everything. Everything. He can count the hairs on your head. So I had somebody, some woman make some comment the other day on somebody else's live session that, oh, that guy, Dennis, he don't like tarot card readers. Well, yeah, that's quite as simple. I really don't. A tarot card reader is not a psychic medium. I'm sorry. What I do, that's considered being a psychic medium. But flipping a card... Uh, you know, any one of you could go to Barnes & Noble and buy a deck of tarot cards. That don't make you a second. You know, I'm sorry. It's just my opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion. And it's not because of what I do. It's just because there's a difference between what I do and somebody flipping a card. There's no doubt. This kind of stuff can't be shown in that way. But... Brotherhood of love... It's not me, dear. There's spirit in God. That's that's what it is. I mean, I'm just a messenger. I get to hear this stuff. That's all. It's never me. Don't ever assume I know this stuff because I don't. It's what I hear, and then I tell you. It's so simple. What I do, I hear it. I tell you. And any one of you could do what I'm doing. All you had to do is be able to hear it and say what you hear. It's not me knowing this stuff, you know. All right. Let's see. Thank you again, dear, dear for your validations. He's always treated you well. All right. Okay, let's see where we're going to go now. Mm -hmm. All right. Zaria, are you here still? Zaria. Zaria, can you step forward and say yes if you're still here? He's directing me to you now, Spirit. All right, thank you, sister. Thank you. All right, just make sure you validate as we're going along with everything he says, okay? <clears throat> All right, let me listen. The first thing I'm hearing with you, you have a heartache for someone who's left the world. Thank you. This person was everything to you. in your life gave you a lot of good qualities in your life uh, that's exactly what I just heard gave you a lot of good qualities in your life today. made you into the person that you are today a big influence in your life this person had you in their arms many a time Times wiping your tears away. It's like she knew everything you were going through. So much. You told her so much. And she listened. It took you into her heart. And kept you close to her. She wasn't ever going to be forgotten about. Never will that happen. The, the way she passed it isn't the way normal people pass. Thank you, Jody. Thank you. The way this woman passed wasn't the way normal people pass. 
it, it wasn't quick I'm hearing that it, it was drawn out and a longer period than most people get through it she fought hard this making sense Sierra this is what he's saying to me about you the month of March what's significant with the month of March is this when this person passed I'm getting the month of March what does this mean March <clears throat> what's significant with March with you All right, hold on to that. Just don't, don't let it go. Hold on to it. A, a birthday coming up. Whose birthday is coming up? In a month. Whose birthday is in a month? This is somebody you know. Birthday in a month, he's saying. Why is he saying the 23rd to me? No, next month. Next month. A birthday coming up in a month. And he's giving me the 23rd. What's what's with the 23rd? That's why he said it to me, the 23rd. darling it's Biera right not Ziera it's with a B no, it's with a Z. it is a Z mm -hmm. yeah. Sierra okay because it looked like a B just now evicted a neighbor going to be evicted he just said that to me watch how that happens within the next two to three days somebody moving out mm -hmm. It's kind of like an eviction. That's what he just said to me. Again, two to three days. Two to three days, he's saying with that. This may be something you know about or something that you're aware of or something that's going to be disclosed to you as it happens in two to three days from now. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this. <coughs> a father figure around not for a while now father figure not around for a while a father figure not around for a while stupid for reasons that are so stupid he said this should be a grandpa for reasons that are so stupid that making sense there Stubborn, I'm hearing. Stubborn. Doesn't want to see it any other way but his own. Doesn't want to discuss certain things either, I'm hearing. An arrogant side to him when he wants to. Hasn't been easy to get along with for a long time. Bitter. I'm hearing bitter. Oh, resentful. Or not happy with anybody anymore. So in his own little world of sorrow, this is what Spirit is saying about him. He hasn't been happy for a while now. They're not careful with his health either.
the health is an issue with him. Isolated. I'm hearing isolated. People not wanting to be around a lot of people. Can you validate this, Sierra? Because I'm not seeing you doing any validations right now. And he'll stop. Trust me. All of a sudden, bang, it stops. I don't get no more, okay? Because you ain't saying nothing to me right now. Dead silence. I'm not hearing anything. This is why I tell people you have to validate along. Because if he sees you stop validating, he'll stop telling me. <clears throat> no idea. Hmm. Something else happens. You might not be getting what he's saying to you. These things he's saying about this man, arrogant, bitter, stubborn, the health issues, none of those things validate and mean anything to you whatsoever. What he's saying. All right, let's move on. Just keep those in your, in your mental filing cabinet. They may come back to you later. He's not going to waste time and, and give you something that's not pertinent, I'm sure. He doesn't do that spirit. What's with this certain article of clothing that nothing will take the stain out of? A stain in an article of clothing he's given me. Have you tried to get it out? He's saying you tried to get it out. And an outfit that you loved. Is that making sense to you, Zierra? Something with a stain in an outfit. Come out. You tried getting it out, but it won't come out. I mean, they'll show you stupid little things like this to show you what's going on in your life. It may not seem, it may seem stupid for all us to hear this, but it may not be her. All right, darling, we'll end your session now. No problem. All right, let's see where we're going to go now. <clears throat> Sonny, are you still here? Sonny. Right in the middle of the session, she's got to go. So, all right, we end that one. No problem. Sunny, where are you? What time is it? It's heading towards 11 o'clock. I'm not going to spend a ton of more time on here. Because it's getting late and I have to work tomorrow. Sunny, you'll be the last one. If she's there. Sonny, step forward and say yes, please, because you'll be the last session I give tonight. Doesn't say a criteria, right? Like, mm -hmm. they're watching. Not, not that, not, just ask everybody who's still here. Well, this is the last one I'm doing anyway. If he's not here, I'm finishing it. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. i got to work tomorrow. All right, Sonny, one more time. I'm calling out your name, and that's 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 going to be the end of it for this evening, okay, everybody? I definitely have to work tomorrow, and I'm going to be breaking my butt tomorrow at work, and i got to get a good night's sleep. I can't afford to stay up till like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning doing this tonight. All right, Sonny's not stepping forward, so I'm crossing out the name. All right, everybody, I want to thank you all for attending my YouTube live session tonight. This is the second one I've done in the series of many more to come. All right, occasionally I'm going to drop into Facebook, and I'll do one there every now and then. But most of them will be here now, all right? All right. You're so very welcome, Deirdre. Thank you, Tinker Face. Stacy, thank you. I appreciate you all following me over from Facebook to here. So just, you know, if you can share this, that would be awesome, all right? 
And because this is where I'm doing them for right now, because I keep on getting attacked on Facebook, and I'm not going to put another five months worth of live sessions in there to get them taken away from me. This this nasty hag that I got that follows me can't get them removed here, get me kicked out of here. So this is where all my lives are going to be from now on. Okay. All right. I love you all. Thank you all for coming tonight. God bless each and every one of you. And please don't forget to tell God you love him tonight. Because he's most certainly not forgetting to love each and every one of us, okay? And I love you all. God bless you too, Jody. God bless every one of you. All right. Say good night, Bonnie. Good night. Love you. God bless you. See you on Facebook. See you on here. Mwah. All right, everybody. Vaya con Dios. May God be with you. Run up here, okay? So 8.30 Eastern Standard Time is when I'll probably do my live tomorrow, 8.30, 9 o'clock. But I'll notify everybody on Facebook that I'm going back on. Alrighty. So, again, thank you all. God bless you. I love each and every one of you. You're all my sisters and my brothers. And we're all God's children. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you for coming. I love you all. All right. No, no. Are you sure you want to?